Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're live. Okay. We are live. So we're preparing for a tick drag. What they're doing is they're putting the cloth onto the dragging pole. And as you can see, everybody's wearing Tyvek suits. And that's to prevent us from picking up any ticks on our person. And these suits are very solid, very warm, but it's the best way to protect ourselves from picking up a tick. What's this uh, sheet made of? The sheet, it's made of flannelette. Flannelette. Yeah. Okay, okay. so I will just go across the deck with that? Yeah, if you can. Okay, so can you hold it kind of across? So, yeah, so this is the Ottawa Public Health tick tick drag. How many times a year do you do this? Well, we or how many times a week? At least once in the spring and once in the fall. Uh, it's all it's weather dependent. So if it's too cold or too wet, we're not able to do it. Mm -hmm. So we're basically at the mercy of Mother Nature. Sometimes she cooperates, sometimes she doesn't. Right, so you're looking for a nice sunny day. Nice sunny no day. Wind. Uh, dry, not a lot of wind if possible, and the, the right environment, which is exactly where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. We're here in Carp, Ontario. Lovely Carp, Ontario. We've got a grassy kind of field out here with a path through it, and we're going to check it for uh, ticks. Nope, that's good. To tape it onto the pole instead of the fabric. Yeah, no, yeah. that's perfect. That's good. As long that's as good. it stays on there, that's all that matters. Okay. So we can roll this one up and see the side and do the next one? Yep, perfect. Maybe I'll get the tape. Get the tape. Oh, I got the tape. Oh, thanks. I'm going to do my uh, my legs here. Oh, okay. Let Sorry. Me yes. It's important that we make sure that we're, we're getting rid of any possible place that the chicks can get up underneath our outfits. Yeah, no, it's fine. So we've all got these Tyvek suits on and they're all duct taped at the ankles and the wrists. Yeah. We've got gloves on to protect right. us as well. Yes, we are in Canada, guys. This is Ottawa, Canada. We do have accents, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and we're what you public talking health inspectors. Yeah. <laughs> we are public health inspectors. And the reason that we're doing this is we're doing this as part of active surveillance with the province of Ontario. Um, Lyme disease is rapidly approaching uh, into our areas as well as many areas across the province and across the country. Uh, and ticks can carry uh, the bacteria that causes Lyme disease, so we're trying to find out what's here, what kind of tick, and whether or not we have Lyme disease here. Right. Okay, so so that kind of just answered the question why we're doing this. <laughs> so we, they take the ticks uh, back to the lab and then uh, see if they have any of the Lyme disease or any other bacteria that can infect people. I think that's good. <laughs> we have a beautiful day for it. Holy, lovely day. It's about 7 degrees Celsius here. Nice yeah. and sunny, barely cloud in the sky. Yes, it would have been nice if it was a little warmer, but you gotta take what you get. And this is our field. It is a beautiful day to drag for ticks. That's what we said. <laughs> the only place that does this. All, most of the health units across Ontario at one point or another have to do uh, tick drags just to try to see what kind of uh, tick population is in their area. Because uh, once we find out what's available, what's around, then uh, it can help inform the public and the medical profession about the kinds of protocols that need to be taken if somebody comes in with a tick on them. And then it's been engorged. We don't want them to get Lyme disease. So. Yeah. Lyme disease is the 
most common or the one we're looking for the one, is... yeah we're looking for a particular type of tick called Ixodes scapularis uh, it's the one that can is known to carry Lyme disease not all I can't do it not all ticks carry Lyme disease but the ones that do um, are also they're also called a deer tick doesn't necessarily mean that it's just deer that have to be in the area of small mammals and migratory birds and this particular location is very common with migratory birds mm -hmm. uh, so we're hopeful that this is going to be a very successful drag that's good yeah. and so basically what they do is they use this uh, okay. dragging fabric and they just drag it across the, the grass <laughs> in the field here and uh, the ticks uh, jump onto the fabric and then they pick them off uh, every every so often to to take them as samples. And this is one. Yeah, there's a little bottle where they'll keep the ticks. And this is one of the most effective ways to trap ticks. Yeah. There are tick traps, but uh, I don't know if we use them or not. No. No. We don't. Uh, and really, the most effective way is through this or trapping small mammals and seeing if they're on the small mammals. We don't trap animals. <laughs> we just trap ticks. Yeah. Is the wind going to be a problem uh, with the, the fabric or anything? No, we try to keep it as low as possible. We drag it as low to the ground as possible. That's ground. why we have these long ropes on the, uh, the poles. And this is just fl uh, flannel. Yeah, it's uh, just flannelette. flannelette. It's the most effective because what happens is the ticks, they don't jump and they don't fly. So they basically they put their legs out oh, yeah. and as you walk by, they'll attach. They catch you. Basically, ah. that's just it. So you want to make sure that you've got something that they like to adhere to. So that's why the flannel up. And it's white so we can see easily. Do you guys have your uh, files? I put mine right on the bag here. Oh, then we'll pick yours there. Okay. It's quite the process. Yeah. In terms of percentages that carry disease, it's different for each area that you're in. Yes, it is. Um, in uh, southern Ontario, it, there's there's more of a chance that you'll can find a tick with Lyme disease. Yes, exactly. Those are the areas that are high risk. Um, what happened with uh, Lyme disease and the ticks started in the northeastern United States. And as uh, the, the birds migrated and the deer migrated, uh, they don't respect political or country boundaries. So they came up north. And as things are warming up, whether you believe in that or not, it's true, it's happening. And we've had more and more. Uh, Incidences where there's been positive ticks with Lyme disease, especially around, around southern Ontario, Murphy's Point, Turkey Point, that's another really, or sorry, Turkey Point is a really uh, common area, Kingston area, Inokwe, all along the river. Um, it's not just in a, an area where there's water, it's also an area where there's, there's high brush or deciduous leaves that have fallen off. Right. And Kingston, as we're talking about, is just about two hours away from yeah. your drive. Two hours south. Okay, so you guys got your things. Okay. Oh, I better put my stuff back in the car. All right, and you got your watch. Awesome. Okay, we'll just put all the rest of this in here. Here we are on the Ottawa Public Health tick drag. We're in Carp, Ontario, which is within uh, the Ottawa boundaries here. It's a very attractive outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, I also have my outfit on as well. You yes, can see that. Very dapper, I must Official. say. Official. Alrighty. Okay, you ready? Ready. Okay. There you go. So we'll go ahead down here. Basically, 
This is the kind of thing that you don't see every day from your public health inspector. <laughs> We're literally going to drag it like through here, not on the top, but on the side. We're literally going to walk. Walk in the brush. In the brush. Okay. Right where a dog would be walking, perhaps. Exactly, a dog or uh, somebody who's gone off the trail. If people stay on the trails, they should be fine. Mm -hmm. It's when you don't stay on the trail. Mountain biking or dirt biking, something exactly. like that. Looking for frogs, I don't know. Looking for frogs, <laughs> looking for plants, that kind of thing. So yeah, so the ticks basically are waiting there and they just grab onto uh, clothing or fur. That's what they like to grab onto. They can't fly or jump onto you. They have to come in contact. And they grab you, they have, they have eight legs. And they uh, just hold on. And ticks need blood uh, to survive. They can't survive too much without them. So they're always looking for someone to grab onto. Or something to grab onto. There goes Anne deep in the bushes there. Let's go along the path here. Ticks are part of the arachnid family, which is, most people would know arachnid as a spider. So they do have eight legs. They actually start their life with six legs. And then once they find a, a blood source, they start to grow their uh, other two legs. So every so often they'll stop and look to see if they have uh, any ticks on their uh, piece of flannel here. It's about a, a meter square piece of flannel. They do this, uh, we do this every about two or three times a year. Um, I jumped in the hole. <laughs> there's Anne. She fell in a hole. This is, uh, we're in a field in carp. And uh, we're looking for, specifically looking for deer ticks. Uh oh. <laughs> and fell down there. Specifically looking for deer ticks because they carry Lyme disease. Oh, got some sort of creek. You want to try to get right to the edge? <laughs> you don't necessarily want to get in it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to look and see if we see anything. Basically what you're looking for is any little critters that have six legs. As you can see, it's kind of hard to tell. Ticks are very small. Yep, ticks are small. So yeah, they could be t like full-grown ticks or even uh, the nymph. Yeah, you won't a, see too many nymphs at this tick. time of the year. You may. No. Nope. As you can see, I mean, it's hard to discern what the tick and what's a piece of grass or other little bugs. No, that's not a chicken. Okay. I don't seem to see anything right now. 
But we'll just keep looking. Keep looking. Yeah. And I'll try to stay out of the water. <laughs> no problem for the vid. We are doing this live. Ottawa Public Health. Uh, we are doing a tick drag, which is a technique to capture ticks so that we can uh, take a sample of them and study them, see if they have any uh, anything uh, good diseases in them, like Lyme disease in particular. Looking for the deer tick. And, uh, yep. This is a day in the life of Ottawa Public Health. <laughs> These guys are out here. Just one of those little services that we provide. Yep. Providing the service down there. Basically just uh, trying to cover as much of this field as possible. Again, that's a piece of flannel. It's about a meter square and ticks will uh, tend to grab onto it. Uh, they can't, ticks can't jump onto you. They can't fly onto you. They need you to come by and uh, they have to be able to reach out and grab you um, with one of their legs. And uh, so they love grabbing that flannel. And if we run into any, they should be on there. You can go to our website, uh, ottawapublichealth.ca, for more information about public health. And then you can search for ticks, and you'll find some information about ticks and Lyme disease, and how you can uh, uh, avoid ticks, and the symptoms for Lyme disease as well. If you find one, or if you find one on yourself, uh, you remove it, uh, put it in a Ziploc bag, and call your health department so they can then uh, process it. We are Ottawa Public Health, ottawapublichealth.ca. Let me try to get closer to Ann here. There's a big, huge mud patch river thing. I'm not wearing boots, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. Muddy yeah, shoes. It's a lovely day. We're in the carp area of Ottawa. It's a nice little village. You got the carp fair every year. In the Deep and Bunker Museum. Which is a Cold War uh, nuclear shelter that they made into a museum. And we also have a face cream place you want to check out. Yeah. We'll ask Ann how she's going. Go through there and lie along there. Sure. Or if there's geese or that kind of thing. Looks like a, there could have been a deer right there. Exactly. I'm guessing. Exactly. I have no idea. Okay. But we'll see. Oh, there's a duck. Oh, yeah. And like you can see, there's a path and an animal has gone down here. So potentially that's where we could find some ticks. Doesn't mean that uh, we're going to, but we'll keep trying. And the ticks are looking for their carbon dioxide. Is that what uh, their main thing well, is? Well, they're actually attracted to any movement, heat. Um, if they can, yeah, the carbon dioxide. But also too, if they can, you know, they just happen to be there, and if we brush up against them, that's when we can end up getting them on us and without even knowing. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the challenges. And with a with an animal, it's just happenstance. They don't live on deer; they're just transported from one area to another on deer, white-footed mice, okay, other small mammals. So they don't bite into a deer; they just hang on. Oh no, they will. They'll oh, they bite will. into a deer. But then after they've had their blood meal, they can fall off or brush up against something else and then it falls off and lives to bite somebody else another day. This is the Ottawa Public Health Tick Drag. <laughs> We're here with Public Health Inspector Ann. Yeah. And uh, they do this a couple times a year. 
do a little sample of ticks in an area just like this, you know, tall grassy kind of area. We're looking for taller grass. Taller grass. Uh, or a leaf layer. There's not a lot of trees right around here, but because we have all this tall grass that they like to hide in, and there's a lot of animals here, and we've actually had somebody found a tick on them in this location. Okay. So that's another reason why we're dragging out there. Good place for ticks. Yes, watch your footing though. We had someone from Michigan watching. Oh really? Is that we got ticks there? Sure <laughs> I'm sure they do. And ideally we would do this earlier in the season. Uh, it's just you have to make sure that you're getting out when it's not too hot or not too cold. Okay. Because they kind of go dormant. They don't get... Oops. They're not very active when they're too cold or they're too hot. And it's hard sometimes to tell because they can be so tiny. I was looking at something I thought was a tick, but it turned out to be a little beetle. In the spring, we could look at something that size there, and that could be a nymph. As it turns out, this one's not, but you can see how difficult that would be to be able to tell if you don't know what you're looking for. And there are lots of beetles that look like ticks. Okay, now there's something there. What is that? are tiny. Yeah. Uh, that has six legs, so it's not a tick. But they can be that tiny. And they don't have wings, and this has some wings. Yeah. See, there's a bunch of goose feathers. And that's one of the uh, migratory birds that ticks can hide on and get transported around. Yeah. So this is like a goose nest. Yeah. So that would be primo spot. There's dragon in there. Hard to say. Oh, there's another one of those little things. Yeah, the ticks have been, or sorry, the geese have been uh, gathering up around this area and getting yeah, ready no, to fly south. It is about 7 degrees Celsius today. I'm not sure, 40-ish 40, 40 Fahrenheit? Okay, just careful when I'm going across here. I don't want you to fall. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I did not bring my rubber boots today. I got my sneakers on. <laughs> oh, careful. That's the same thing. Okay, I'm walking across the log here. I was just following a deer path. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I a Made it. Yeah, it's really sunny today. <laughs> There's hardly a cloud in the sky. And uh, it's kind of nice. It's not too windy out here. It's my colleagues looking at their drag. You can see we're all in suits, and they're all uh, d taped up around the wrist and ankles. I'm not seeing Make sure we're protected no, best I've as we seen can. One beetle and a couple of uh, other little flying things. Yeah, I've seen a couple little flies in that yeah. All right. So there we go, folks. This is the tick drag. We're in mid mid drag, I guess. And we're going to take these uh, these sheets uh, back to see if we have any ticks on them. Thanks for joining. This again, this is Ottawa Public Health, OttawaPublicHealth.ca. And we're out here in the field in carp. <laughs>